All right, so the iPhones are getting a really cool new feature and I'm not gonna lie, I'm a bit jealous. They'll now use AI to automatically summarize notifications for you. Unfortunately, Androids don't have this feature built in yet, but there's an app for that. It's called SumUp and it does the same thing by using Google Gemini to automatically summarize those long message bundles. So if your group chat is blowing up while you're busy, you don't have to scroll through every single message just to catch up. Instead, you get a quick summary. Pretty sweet, right? And it's not just for text messages. It works for other social apps too, like Twitter, Instagram, Discord, you name it. You can even tweak the settings to choose when the app should kick in. The only catch is that SumUp does cost a dollar to download, which is nothing really. But guess what? I've got you covered with some promo codes on my Patreon so that you can grab it for free. And this also goes for most of the other apps in this video that have a pro version. I've dropped hundreds of promo codes for most of them on my Patreon as well. Now this next one is called Remote App. This lets you easily control your PC or Mac with your smartphone, basically turning it into a remote control. Plus it works on both Android and iOS. You can move the mouse around, tap or double tap to click on things, type things out with your phone's keyboard, quickly open your favorite websites like YouTube or Netflix, or my favorite part is that you can quickly control whatever is playing. So if I'm listening to music off the Spotify app, I can easily switch between tracks, control the volume, or even play or pause the music. The same goes if I'm watching Netflix, YouTube, Prime, HBO, or Hulu. I can even full screen the video without ever touching my computer. And getting it to work is super simple. You just need to download the software onto your computer, which I'll link right below the like button. Then you need to make sure that both devices are on the same Wi-Fi network, and then your computer should pop up on the mobile app to be controlled. It's that easy. Some features are behind a paywall though, which is unfortunate. Apps and media files are getting bigger and bigger each year, gigabytes in size, and it's gotten to the point where 128 gigabytes of storage doesn't cut it anymore. And let's be real, most third-party cleaning apps are sketchy. They're full of ads, trackers, and have unnecessary permissions. I almost gave up but then I found Express Cleaner. And so far, it's been one of my top options for clearing up space on my phone. It can do a quick scan to help you delete unnecessary data, like empty folders, thumbnails, and large files you may have downloaded and forgotten about. But you can even dig deeper to see what's taking up the most space, such as apps or files, and easily remove all that junk with one tap. It also makes it easy to delete duplicate files, bad photos, old data, and more. And while there is a pro version with extra features like clearing junk from WhatsApp, the free version still gets the job done. But if you want that pro version, I've got 100 promo codes on my Patreon so that you can grab it for free. Thanks to the developer. As most of you know, almost every Android update has had an Easter egg found within the settings. And every year, Google changes these so that way you can have something fun and different. If you like to walk down memory lane, you can download Easter eggs from the Play Store to check them all out again. From the first Easter egg in Android 2.3 Gingerbread, which was just a drawing, to the latest spaceship game in Android 15. You can toss jelly beans around in Android 4.1, stare at moving tiles for hours in Android 4.4, move this weird octopus around in Android 8, or my favorite is to play this Android themed Flappy Bird game in Android 5.0 Lollipop. It's pretty fun. For my Spotify users, this next app is a must have. It's called MuSync and it's pretty cool. It analyzes your Spotify stats and uses AI to help you discover new music based on what you like. You even get snippets of the recommended songs and in a Tinder-like fashion, you can swipe right to add a song to your playlist or swipe left to skip it. You can also see your top artists, tracks and genres from the past four weeks, six months, and even of all time, something that Spotify doesn't even show you. Plus you can compare music tastes with your friends and see compatibility scores. Definitely worth checking out if you're tired of listening to the same things over and over again. Imagine having one tool that's ready to capture whatever life throws at you. Whether it's meetings, lectures, interviews, phone calls, or just those random thoughts that you don't want to forget. That's where the Plod Note shines, our sponsor for today's video. This thing is genius, and it isn't just another gadget. It's the world's first AI audio device that can fit into every scenario of your everyday life. It's about the size of a sleek metal credit card that snaps right onto your phone with a MagSafe case. So it's always right there when you need it. Got a call coming in? Just flip the switch to the red side to enable phone call recording mode. Long press the circular button next to it and boom, your phone call starts getting recorded. Once you're done, long press it again and your recording is saved 
in the Plot app. And yes, I know some phones like the latest Google Pixel 9s and iPhone 15s are just starting to support call recording as well, but plenty of phones out there in the US still don't support it, and Plod takes it even further. With the help of AI from powerful models like GPT-40 or Claude 3.5, it'll summarize your conversation, show you the full transcription, and even whip up a mind map. That way you can quickly figure out what that discussion was about without even needing to listen to it in the future. And it's not just for phone calls. Flip the switch down to enable note recording mode, and then you can capture in-person meetings, interviews, lectures, your thoughts, ideas, or whatever you need. You get 300 minutes of free monthly transcription recordings, speaker labels, and easy sharing, exporting, and syncing across all your devices, even on the web, so that you can easily access all of your conversations wherever you are. You can unlock even more features by subscribing to their membership plan for just $6.60 per month when you choose the annual option. So if you're looking for a hassle-free AI-powered voice recorder that will save you from digging through your app drawer, check out the plot note through the top link in the description. Anyways, Launch Chat is another app I'm super excited about. It solves a super simple problem that some messaging apps overcomplicate. With this app, you can start a conversation with any number on WhatsApp, Telegram, or Signal without needing to add them as a contact first. It's a game changer, and the best part is that it's free and open source. If you're a student or just someone who's constantly researching things, the app ScholarChive is a massive help. It basically links this huge repository from a site called archive.org, which has millions of academic papers on pretty much any topic you can think of. You can search for studies, read them, bookmark them, or even download them. Plus, the coolest part is that it integrates with Google Gemini to let you summarize any paper that you like. That way, you don't have to read through hundreds of papers just to figure out what it's about. To take things even further, you can tap on the star icon next to each paper and ask the AI anything you'd like, such as who wrote the paper, what its significance is, or to explain it like you're a five-year-old. And it's completely free and open source. I think that's worth a thumbs up. And since we're talking about school, how about a calculator app that looks just like Google's but packs way more features? That's what Number Hub does. It looks extremely similar to Google's calculator app and works just as well. Plus, it has a unit converter, a date calculator, a time zone feature, and it can calculate your body mass and tell you if you're overweight. So it's not a bad option. Ever wish you had those cool gestures for Motorola phones like chopping twice for the flashlight or twisting for the camera? Well, now you can have those on any Android with an app called Shake It. It lets you do just that, or it even lets you change the gestures to other apps. Though, I'll admit, it doesn't work as smoothly as a Motorola phone. You might have to do the gesture twice, and sometimes you might accidentally trigger it while your phone's in your pocket, but if you play around with the sensitivity and the settings, you can probably make it work. I can't lie, when it comes to translation, Google Translate is the GOAT, but there's one thing you can't do use conversation mode without an internet connection. That's where our translator comes in. This free open source app lets you have real-time translation with another person, even when you're both offline. Here's how it works. It connects with another phone that also has the app, and if the other user accepts your connection request, you can chat with that person in their language. Whatever you say will be translated and spoken out loud in their language, and the same goes for what they say to you. Now sure, the other person needs to have the app too, but if you're traveling with a friend or carrying two phones around in a remote area with no internet connection, this could be a lifesaver. Google Translate might not always be able to help you in those situations. Anyway, tap this card right here to watch a playlist of all the previous best apps of the month. I've been doing this for years, so you've got a lot of apps to download. Drop a thumbs up if I helped you discover at least one app in this month's episode of the Best Entered Apps. Thanks for sticking around to the end, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Kapow!